Boop. Stop. Boop. Stop. Boop. Stop. Boop. Come on, stop. Ah, my favorite glasses, Goobert and Cheesy Tots. I was just fooling around, but now I've ruined Scott's glasses. And worse, Scott's Tots. I'm a monster! It'll be okay, Kevin. I think there's a lesson here, guys. Is it about Tots? Not exactly. It's about teasing. I know it can be meant in good fun, but we should be careful not to cross the line into bullying or harassment. Like when one person is singled out. It keeps going on after the person asks for it to stop. It's based on something out of the person's control, like race, gender, or ability. Or especially, if it involves touching someone without their consent. Doesn't consent mean getting voluntary permission before doing any kind of, you know, sexual stuff? Yes, but consent also applies to any other kind of physical contact. We should check before touching someone's hair or clothes or even giving them a hug. And while it may seem funny or flirty to poke someone, snap their bra, or pull down their pants, it's not a healthy way to show somebody you like them. It could be really embarrassing and hurtful to them and get you in serious trouble. You wouldn't want someone poking or grabbing you without permission, so you shouldn't do it to another person. Definitely. But what should I do if me or one of my friends is being harassed, teased, or touched without permission? Talk to a trusted adult, like a parent, teacher, or counselor who can help you put a stop to the behavior. If the first adult you talk to can't help, keep reaching out until you find someone who can. The bottom line is, even if you're being playful, teasing can hurt. So if somebody asks you to stop, then stop. And always make sure to ask before touching another person in any way. You're right, and thanks. Sorry again about your glasses, Scott. And as a show of solidarity, I'm gonna goober myself with Cheesy Tots. Um, you could have just cleaned off my glasses. I know, but that's not my style. <laughs>